Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. If you are on the market for a photo editor that can do it all, but find creative cloud too expensive or just overkill for your needs, stick around as in this video, I'm going to be looking at an app that is powerful yet decently priced. It is Adobe's cheapest photo editor, Adobe Photoshop Express for the iPad. Is it any good? Is it better than Affinity Photo? That's what we're going to be answering in today's video. Adobe Photoshop Express costs $4.99 a month, payable from month to month, assuming you purchase the app directly from the iOS App Store. You can also purchase it for $34.99 a year. For comparison, a Creative Cloud subscription costs $120 US dollars a year. So what are the top five standout features of Photoshop Express? Let's perform a composting task to better understand its capabilities. I'll click Combine Photos. I'll select a photo from the Photos Library. For this project, let's replace the bland window view with something more eye-catching. To do that, we need to make a selection. I'll click Cut Out, and that brings us to the first standout feature, AI Object Selection. Photoshop Express has actually two types of AI Object Selection, automatic, and manual. With automatic, selection is performed when you click the cutout button. Express will perform scene analysis and creates the selections on any recognized object without the need for user input. As you can see here, one object was detected. With just one tap, you can already get a fairly good cutout. That's super easy. Alternatively, you can also make object selections manually. You do this by dragging a rectangle over an object to perform the selection. One nice touch of Express is as you drag, any transparent areas automatically become visible to help you see which objects are available for selection. In the case where object selection is not working for you or lacks accuracy, Express also offers a brush alternative which supports the Apple Pencil to allow for more precise selections. There, our selection is done. Let's add in our scenery. Here is the before and the after. So that is our first standout feature, AI object selection. Let's move on to the second standout feature. The second standout feature is superior raw editing performance. You can access the raw editor in Express by clicking the photo editor button. If you've ever watched my raw editor comparisons, you would know that I consider Lightroom's tone adjustments the gold standard among its peers. I've observed Express to produce the same excellent adjustment quality as Lightroom and has all of the same sliders, shadows, highlights, whites, blacks, clarity, texture, HSL, dehaze, etc., etc., which means its raw editor is far better than any other photo editor, including Affinity's raw editor. The third standout feature of Express is its superior AI masking tools. In the same way that you can create cutouts by selecting objects using AI, Express also supports automatic and manual object masking to allow for local adjustments. However, better than object selection in cutouts, object masking to perform local adjustments can recognize far more objects. As you can see here, it can recognize not just subject and background, but sky, skin, clothes, hair, eyebrows, lips, facial skin, body skin, etc with practically the same accuracy as Lightroom's desktop app. Compared to Affinity's meager local masking features, it is not at all competitive with Express. In addition to automatic object masking, Express also supports manual object masking, which works the same as when selecting objects for cutouts. You drag a rectangle over the object to make a selection. The fourth standout feature is its powerful portrait retouching tools. 
You access this by clicking on the Face Retouch button. The most useful tool, in my opinion, is the Smooth tool, which as you can see here, is extremely effective in smoothing out skin and getting rid of blemishes. If Smooth doesn't work, Express also provides other tools for making skin look its best. It has Spot Heal, Patch, and Clone. Moving on from skin, if fixing up the face is what you need, Express also provides a face tool that allows you to change face characteristics like size and rotation, change lip characteristics, nose features, and eye features. And they all work really well, similar to the top face retouching apps on the App Store. So those are the standout features of Express. How about its disadvantages, particularly over Affinity Photo for the iPad? While Express has many standout features, it also is hampered by a number of glaring weaknesses that might make power users overlook it in favor of Affinity Photo. The first disadvantage or weakness is the poor accuracy of its manual object selection. While dragging a rectangle to select is both intuitive and responsive, the accuracy, unfortunately, leaves much to be desired. As you can see here, it makes mistakes in even the most trivial selection tasks, making you wish for a better tool. It appears that Adobe is using older or less reliable technology to differentiate it from Photoshop. This problem would not be such a big deal if there was an alternative tool, which brings us to the second disadvantage of Express. Its alternative tool is its brush, and its brush has no edge detection. This is one area where Affinity has a big advantage over Express. It is much simpler and faster to create precise selections. The third disadvantage of Express is there is no refine brush functionality. Unlike Affinity, where both the desktop and iPad app support an adjustment brush, which can handle difficult hair edges, Express has no such functionality. Users will be left twiddling their thumbs to get a precise hair selection. The fourth disadvantage of Express is the lack of core editing tools. Unlike Affinity, Express has no polygonal selection tool, which is such an important tool for creating precise selections when edges are indistinct or low contrast. Express has also no curves tool, which would be very useful for correcting color casts, as I've shown in my recent videos. The fifth and final disadvantage of Express is the lack of iCloud Drive support. Express inexplicably supports only the Photos library, which is great when working with just a few files, but such a pain when you have an entire folder of images to work with. So there you have it. We've just run through four standout features and five disadvantages of Photoshop Express. While I've tried my best to give a comprehensive assessment, do let me know if I've missed anything out. Also, let me know if you've used Adobe Photoshop Express and what are your thoughts on it. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.